In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the K Supreme Plus coffee maker. I'll show you how to install the water filter, how to use your K Cup reusable filter, and also how to program your personal preferences. So let's get started. My package came with a My K Cup reusable filter and also a water filter starter kit. If you don't have any of these, you can buy these separately. I'll leave links in my description below. Before you install the water filter, it's a good idea to rinse out the water reservoir first. Before starting, make sure to soak your water filter cartridge in water for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, give it a rinse for 60 seconds. To open the filter holder, press inwards towards the lower part and slide the base out. You may want to rinse this out as well before using it. After soaking and rinsing out your filter cartridge, pop it into the base of the holder and clip the top part of the holder into place. Insert the water filter into the water reservoir, pressing down firmly until it locks into place. Replace the water reservoir, filling it up to the maximum line. Before using the machine for the first time, you're going to need to do a cleaning brew. Place a 10 ounce mug on the cup holder. Power on the machine. Lift and lower the lever without inserting a coffee pod. Select 8 ounce and press the center brewing K button. If you want to watch my videos on the temperature settings and also how to descale and clean your machine, I'll leave links to those videos in my description below. And if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing with your notification bell turned on. I bring out videos every week. Once your cleansing brew is done, discard the water and you're ready to use the coffee machine. To set your personal preferences, open the lever and insert a coffee pod. Select your cup size, I'll do 6 ounces. Select your strength, I'll do strength 1. And select your temperature, strength 3. And then press and hold the profile button that you want to save it to. If you want to change any of your existing personal settings, choose your settings and then press and hold the user button and this will replace it with the new setting. And whenever you want, simply press the user setting and then press the center brewing K button. Or choose a cup size, a strength and a temperature and brew a cup of coffee that's not in your saved profiles. When you're done brewing, remove the old coffee pod ready for the new one. Next I'll show you how to use the My K Cup reusable coffee filter. So the new K-Cup filter comes with this grey adapter. This is only to be used with the 2.0 series coffee machines, but Keurig is no longer making those. But if you have a 2.0 coffee maker, then you need to use this grey adapter. Otherwise, for the newer models, just ignore it and move it aside. To unlock the lid, turn it counterclockwise. To lock it, turn it clockwise. Remove the basket from the holder. Pull off the lid and inside you'll see the little red plug. You may want to wash everything before using it first time. After washing it, connect the plug back into the lid. Add in your ground coffee or loose leaf tea, making sure not to go above the maximum line. Attach the lid to the filter basket, making sure that it's pressed down all the way around the edge. And then insert the basket into the filter holder and turn it clockwise into the lock position. And just press it down all the way around just to be sure. And finally, remove the grey adapter if you're not using a 2.0 series model. On your coffee machine, place your hand underneath the coffee pot holder and push it upwards using your other hand to take it out from the top. And then insert the My K Cup reusable filter with the arrow pointing towards the back. Lower the lever. 
Select your cup size and press the center brewing K button. Once you're all done, take out the K-cup filter and empty the basket. Just be careful, it'll be a little bit warm or just wait a few seconds for it to cool down. If you don't empty it straight away, it'll all become dry and really solid in there and it'll just be harder for you to clean. If you go back to using K-pods, just remember to put the K-pod holder back in. Alright guys, don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I hope to catch you in the next video.